Hello, uh, my name is Balaji Ragotuman and on behalf of Shruti, the India Music and Dance Society of the Philadelphia area, I am happy to give this video tutorial on how to use the new reference tool that we have built, namely the Shruti Sangeeta Sahitya Sangraha, which we also call the 4S tool for short. So this software can be accessed by going to shruti.org and clicking on the 4S project link. Uh, there is also a more detailed explanation on our blog called the Shruti Smriti and it can be reached at shrutifilla.tumblr.com. So this software is meant to be a handy Carnatic reference for accessing lyrics, ragas, etc. And the first edition comprises of all of St. Tyagaraja's compositions and future editions will include other composers as well as other multimedia features. So let's get going. Perhaps the biggest attraction is that it can be used to navigate through a large amount of information to find what one needs without having to go to different web pages and clicking through them. So the visualization here is tailored to the data rather than the other way around. Before we delve into the tool, uh, a small note about browser compatibility. We have tested this extensively on the Chrome browser and we recommend it. Uh, it also works on Firefox and Safari, but unfortunately does not work on Internet Explorer. Uh, in terms of mobile compatibility uh, for iOS, Android, and other kinds of touchpad and touchscreen uh, operating systems, we are still working on it. Um, so the tool um, allows us to visualize uh, the Kritis of Tyagraja in four different views, and I'm showing them uh, through buttons at the top. You can click on any of the button. It starts with the default of the Melakarta table, where everything is laid out in terms of the Melakarta system. And uh, uh, then there is the Kriti alphabetical view, uh, where the uh, Kritis are all laid out uh, in the alphabetical order of uh, their, you know, English notation spelling. And then there is the Raga alphabetical order view, uh, which intuitively is simply based on the raga that they uh, have been composed in. And finally, there is a Melakarta chakra view, which is somewhat different uh, from the Melakarta table view, uh, derived from the same database, but re visualized more as a chakra. So you would have also noticed an additional feature as you point your mouse and navigate through each of these, you will see something called a breadcrumb popping up, which is really uh, sequences which are dynamically displayed and show you more detail on what you're browsing through. And uh, in the Melakarta view, for example, you see additional detail there in terms of what are the unique notes for that particular level of the Melakarta hierarchy. And moreover, as you get to the actual Janyaraga, you will see the Arohanam and Arohanam too. So in the Melakarta view, uh, the top level or the leftmost level of the hierarchy is the Shuddha Madhyama and the Prati Madhyama. And then we have the 12 chakras, 6 each, and then the 72 Melakartas, and then all the Janyaragas. There are about 1,000 Janyaragas that are in the database here, but Tyagaraja is composed only about 200 of those. And then the Kritis are the last leg of this hierarchy. So you can see that the sizes of the various boxes are not even, and this is deliberate. Uh, essentially, the, the height of a box is a function of the number of kritis ultimately that have been composed, so which translates to the number of descendants for each hierarchical level. And then you also notice that if a box is too thin, then you don't see the content labels showing up, and this is simply to minimize clutter. Uh, if you really want to look into what that box contains, you simply have to keep zooming in, and you'll see more and more detail. So as we click on one uh, level of hierarchy, you can see more details that are popping up here, um, and and so on and so forth. So, um, uh, you know, th this is a quick look at what the Melakarta scheme um, based table looks like. Uh, let's just zoom in on just one particular raga, for example. Let's take Veda Chakra, and within that Tarahara Priya, um, the Melakarta number 22, and then Riti Gaula, which is a Janya raga, and then uh, let's take a look at Jojo Rama, which is a Utsava Sampradaya Kriti in that Raga. And you will see all the, the Sahitya, the Pallavi and all the Charanams here listed. 
Now, if we have to zoom back, there are two ways of zooming back. One is to click anywhere outside the box. You will zoom into the base level, zoom out to the base level, that is. Um, but then if you're somewhere in a hierarchy and you want to just move one level up, you just click on the left bar and you go one level up and then one more and so on and so forth. And if you get tired, just click outside and you go to the top level. So that's a look at the Melakarta table. Then let's move on to the Kriti alphabetical table now. And uh, let's load up, uh, wait for it to load up. So let's take an example. Uh, let's go and find out where Meluko Vaya is, which is another Utsava Sampradaya Kriti. So I click on M and then M E and there it is and you can see the Sahitya. Um, then let's move on to the Raga alphabetical view um, and here let's find out for example what Tyagraja has composed in Saranga. So I click on S and then S A with, S -A with an accent uh, under which you find Saranga and these are all the Kritis. Uh, Mama Varagurama is here for example. Now uh, I just move one level back and I find just above Saranga is uh, Saramati and then the very um, famous and you know, perennial concert favorite Moksha Mughalada is here. So um, that's a look at the, the Raga view and finally we can go to the Melakarta view where uh, things are laid out in a circle and you still get the breadcrumbs and you can look at exactly what you're um, surfing through and at any hierarchy you can see the, the whole chakra being reformatted. Uh, it's just visually pleasing and uh, in a very nice way of looking at it but we early on decided not to move forward with it uh, simply because it's very hard to show the right amount of text in a radial fashion that you have to do in a circle um, but I still kept this uh, button anyway because it's one of my favorites. So, um, you know, in, in, in some ways this can be like a signature or a digital like mudra for Tyagaraja. Um, um, and, and finally, uh, if you have any comments or suggestions on, on how to improve the tool, um, you can click here and get to a sheet. Um, and please enter your contact details and comments and we will get to them as soon as we can. Uh, you could email me, my email is right here, but the preferred way is to simply enter the, your comment in the sheet. Um, and enhancements that we are looking at uh, for this tool, uh, we will definitely be including uh, compositions of all the other major uh, composers, Muttaswami Dikshutar and Shyama Shastrigal and uh, Purandar Dasa and, and so on and so forth. And also we would like to all, uh, add multimedia uh, content in terms of audio from the vast library of concerts that Shruti has over 25 plus years of its existence and also involve some of the local teachers in, you know, for example, recording the Arohana and Avrohana and so on for all the ragas and, and showing up here. So we hope that this will be a very useful tool for you know students as well as for teachers and for generally for rasikas uh, if they are interested in uh, you know simply browsing through and learning more about the compositions and more about Carnatic music in general. Uh, thank you very much and I hope you have a rich experience surfing through this tool and please give us your comments.